So we have a patient that um, has a hemoabdomen and it is for um, a non-cancerous reason. So this would be a patient where we might want to do an autotransfusion that is obtaining the blood from the abdomen, um, putting it in a satellite bag uh, with the hope and intention of uh, giving it back to the dog. Um, so for this setup, because it's a dog, um, conveniently we're able to use satellite bags um, from blood collection systems commercially available. And in this case, um, it is a bag that will hold 500 mils of fluid. So here I have marked on here that I've already put in 63 mils of a preservative anticoagulant called adenine citrate dextrose, or ACD. Um, and I have it attached to a line that with a through a stopcock, we have a 60 cc syringe and then another line that will go to the dog in order to collect the blood. So in this case, we have an option of using a few different size catheters depending on how big the patient is. I have an 18 gauge and a 16 gauge catheter. So we'll uh, sterilely insert it um, through the peritoneum, attach it, draw back, and then count how many mils as we're putting it into the bag. The second port here then is where we can attach the filter, the blood filter, in order to deliver it back to the dog when needed. Thank you. So we're using the ultrasound to find the optimum fluid pocket. Usually it tends to be right around the umbilicus. We're attaching the extension, attached to the three-way stopcock and the syringe. Now we have to keep track of how much blood we're removing, remembering that we put a specific amount of anticoagulant in the collection bag. Because this is this is great, we can have that going into her, okay. going into surgery. We'll collect the rest of it. 